It's uh, Saturday, February 13th, and uh, actually traveling to Indiana. Uh, not for work. Fortunately, not for work. I always go travel quite a bit for work. Uh, today, I'm going to go look at a boat. Uh, probably buy it. Don't know a whole lot about boats, but I figure that uh, the winter time is probably the best time to get a deal on it. See all the snow on the ground. Um, just assuming I may be incorrect. Um, pick it up a, it's like a 67, I think, Starliner. Don't know a lot about them, but from what I've looked at other Starliners, it's, uh, I think it's a Starliner again. It's a pretty good deal, so um, it's all ready to go. I found some, uh, it's a similar price, and uh, all of them need work. This one has pretty much been redone, so uh, we'll have to get there, see what it looks like, and then uh, if it's what we're looking for, we'll uh, pay him some cash. And, uh, like, like I said, it's a 1967. It's a small boat. Um, unfortunately, uh, I want something kind of small. It's a 15-footer. I want it to fit in my garage so I don't have to pay for storage. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to have anything like that parked uh, in my neighborhood uh, as far as on the street or uh, in the driveway or the backyard or the side yard. So that's one reason why I look for the size. And uh, all the newer boats, well, first of all, they're expensive. And uh, second of all, uh, I haven't found anything about the size. Everything I'm finding in the, the size that will fit in there with the trailer is uh, like late 60s, early 70s. I don't know. I don't know enough about them, but my, boat, my wife's been wanting a boat for uh, about a year now. So, well, a little over a year. We live about five minutes from the lake for some water. Um, so, that's the reason why. So, you could say this is a Valentine's Day present. So, kind of a expensive Valentine's Day present, nonetheless, but uh, we'll uh, film some more when we get the thing hooked up, if we get it, and uh, journey home and maybe take a review of it. Okay, see my truck's a mess. A few hours later here, um, in a little town in Ohio called Rockford. Never heard of it. But anyway, so there she be. We end up getting her, so I'll uh, get the snow in the back of the bed there to weigh down the truck. I'll um, probably take a video when I get home of this booger. And, uh, hopefully uh, get that cover off and uh, show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Right, here's the boat uh, in the garage. It actually fit. As you can see, it fit barely. That's how close it is to the back front door. And if it wasn't for this divot in the wall, this little ledge, you can see it wouldn't have fit back here. You can see I actually hit part of the wall with it. So I will do a full review of this when it gets a little warmer. Um, I just lifted up the cover. This beam, this guy, he actually had it outside. So he had that so uh, no snow would, would get on it. That's not part of the boat. That's just a little support thing for the cover. But uh, as you can see, it's an older boat. Um, it's got a 65 horsepower Johnson, uh, 73. The boat is a, I think, a 67 or 64 Starcraft. I'll have to look at the title. Uh, I said Starliner. That just tells you how little I know about boats. But anyway, this is pretty much a gift for my wife for Valentine's Day. Um, she's been wanting a boat, and we didn't want to get in too deep, so we just got a cheap little boat, a little 15-footer. Uh, um, but just kind of wanted to show you guys. Nice trailer. Got the bearing buddies on it. Motor is fresh. Um, interior. Seats have no rips in them. That cover there is the top cover. It actually has a, uh, a canopy that you can put on it. A little custom bench the guy made. Uh, it's got two gas tanks, 11 and a, uh, turn the light on, 11 and a 6 gallon. Um, it's got the anchor back there. Some floats whatnot um, so we'll do a full full review of it I actually want to paint this section back here and uh, I'm gonna do some different things with the dash possibly um, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of that wood grain uh, the boat boat you know it looks like a 60s boat no matter what you do so but I'll probably paint that uh, section there where the CD player is so um, and we'll go over the complete boat 
uh, the, out, the exterior looks great. It has no leaks. I mean, it's a uh, fresh paint job within the last five years. So, um, and I found out you can't just paint these. You actually have to get them gel coated or something. So good thing I didn't get one that needed work because I don't know anything about boats. But uh, this is the video for now. We will get more on it uh, when it warms up a little bit. Hopefully, I don't know, next couple weeks I'm hoping to get it out in the driveway and uh, to just go over it completely. It was a bear to get it in this garage because of the ice and the truck didn't want to uh, go up backwards, obviously. So there you have it. It's the StarCraft. Again, not real informative video. Just kind of show you what I've been up to and uh, that's why I haven't been on in a while. And uh, we'll go over it in full detail here in a few weeks. Thanks for watching.